Okay, so this episode is going to be about starting your own store that's ready-made versus fresh-made. Now, starting a a store that's already ready-made, you (laughs) already have a niche. You already have pretty much what you're selling. It's just about your ability to brand it and market it. So, basically, if you have the ability to rank a brand name based on a niche, then you can leverage a blue ocean strategy, meaning you can create the same type of business as someone else with a different brand concept and rank for different keywords. For instance... We talk about ping pong tables. If you was to start a ping pong table business, but someone already knows how to start one for you, they just slap your logo on it and they slap your name on it. So they say, we we start ping pong tables for you. We send them for you. We ship them for you. We make them for you. We do everything for you. We make your website. We make the, We already have the name of the product. Everything is already made. We just slap your logo and your brand name. So you create a logo and they say, oh, this is the Pong Master store. You create your own prices. The shipping is already set up. So all you have to do is get people to buy it. That's ready made. Take that versus you going to a fresh made store. So a fresh made store You have to think of the name. You have to think of what product you're going to sell. You got to think of how you're going to sell it. You got to think of what keywords you're going to use. You got to think of the copy. You got to think of the descriptions. You got to write descriptions. You got to. So let's say you go to AliExpress, right? So you have to take AliExpress descriptions and you have to get them rewritten. So that's going to cost you money. And you have to do the right product research. And you have to make sure that there's nobody else who's selling what you're already selling. That's why one product stores blew up because it's a rinse and repeat model. Because you can't build a brand behind that. Right? So in my opinion, if you was to do a fresh store, if you don't do ready made, why don't you just design, why don't you just do something which when you're that's your own design or your own concept? So if you was doing ping pong tables, you just find somebody who can make or design ping pong tables and you just make them different. Because if you're if you don't have the ability to go blue, meaning blue ocean, right, if you can't create a blue ocean strategy behind it, then you I don't think you should do it. Like to me, the blue ocean is the safety because if you're cop if you're able to be copied then you're just able to be copied so now you have saturation so now you're in a red ocean with all the other fishes and the fishes with the same fishermen and you're in the same boat instead of creating your own boat and the more you get creative and different then you're drifting into another ocean on your own and you're you're by, you're by yourself and you have your own fish but that is subjective based on how you're doing it. Yeah, if it's ready made, then a lot of people are doing it ready made. But if it's if you're doing it through like however, most people do it Ali Ali Baba, but I don't I don't do that because I just don't do it. I'm not saying it's bad because I'm pretty sure people do it. You know? The average the average store making a million bucks their prices are 50 bucks. So you can't be like, oh, it's, you got to do high ticket. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should be high ticket. You should sell over a thousand because your margins are going to be low. That's just not true. That's just not, that's not what it, that's not true. I used to think that was true. I used to think that was true. But that's, that's the, that's the beauty of actually doing research instead of just taking something from a YouTube video and just saying this is what that is, which is like 
That's what a lot of people do in this field. They just say, oh, this is, you don't do this, you don't do that. And it's action-based. Mostly, if I was to do it, if I wasn't, that's what I'm saying. Either way, you, you, you'll you learn if you do it on your own. But we're just talking about ready-made versus an AliExpress model or however model you want to do. And this is, we're talking, I guess this will be drop shipping, right? I hate that word, drop shipping. I hate that word. Because it has it has a bad stigma. It has a stigma on it. Oh, it will be, you know, it's just. Because everything, a lot of things are drop shipped. <laughs> like drop shipping is, is, you can't just say, oh, I have a drop shipping store. It's just drop shipping. It's like, everything is pretty, is a drop ship. Like even even if even if you make something from scratch, and you get it from somewhere else, and you sell it for more than you made it for, that's still drop shipping, because you're not really you're still you're still drop shipping to me in my opinion. Like if you make something on your own and you ship it to somewhere and those people ship it, that's still drop shipping. It's still drop shipping. So I don't I don't understand why people are like oh it's a drop shipping store, I guess drop shipping would be like, if you went on Walmart, and Walmart sold it for thirty and you sold it for sixty. I guess that's what they consider drop shipping, with through AliExpress or something like that, right? I guess people still do that, through the overload, right? So people use through through the overload. So yeah, people do that. But I say you start fresh. I say just start fresh if you're gonna do it. Do something fresh. Because if you do something fresh, you can go blue ocean with it. You can do what you want to do. You're more maneuverable. But let's just say, oh, AliExpress removed that item. Or everybody's selling it. It's like it's another step to what you have to do. It's it's extra research and there's more risk it's like it's a casino effect what i'm trying to say like you want to minimize the casino effect as much as possible that's the beauty of doing something that's ready made because if it's ready made you have mock-up images you got everything that makes you legitimate as fast as possible and you're minimizing the process right you're minimizing the risk as much as possible because it's already made, right? But the risk is the branding, but you're going to have to brand anyway. Well, I guess the risk would be the comp, the, the red ocean, right? So it would be the fact that everybody can get one ready made really fast, but that doesn't mean that they can brand right. And that doesn't mean that they can market right. So it's still beneficial to go ready made. If you understand that blue ocean concept, that's the power of the blue ocean strategy, right? Is if you take those two concepts, the ready-made versus the AliExpress model. And the AliExpress model is broad, right? You still got Walmart, you got Home Depot, you got you so many retail stores you can do the AliExpress model. But AliExpress has creativity and cheap products, so that's where people go. So I'm going to use that as the the mascot of that concept of taking one product and selling it for hire or even just private labeling. And private labeling isn't really a ready-made store either. It's just a ready-made product. But you might not even have that shipping process set up with a private label. It's just a logo slapped on it. So that's the beauty of ready-made as well. It's still private labeled as well. And it's not through Amazon. So you don't have to go right through Amazon. You can just do it yourself. It's yours. You own it. It's already there. It's already set up. That's beautiful. Like, I don't know at any time in history where that was doable. And you could just do it on your phone. You just be like, oh, yeah, I need a ready-made ping-pong table shop. 
It's like, oh yeah, okay, we had that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you might find you might not find somebody who can do a ping pong table. I'm just giving you a scenario. I'm not gonna tell you what you should go do, because that's on you. But I'm just saying, telling you it's doable to do something like that. To go to somebody who has I don't know, like a soda shop. Like I wanna start my own soda. You're like, oh, Josh's sodas. And then they already had the soda set up. They got the formula. They got the ingredients. They got the grape juice. They got the grape, orange, strawberry, everything. Lime, lemon, all the different flavors set up. They just put your logo on it. And then, boom, now you got a soda. You just put it online, make some videos on Facebook, and just promote it. And then they ship it, and you got a store. Set your own pricing, whatever. Boom, you are you an entrepreneur. It's really that simple. I think this is the only time in history where that was doable because even if you if you if you tried that back in the days, let's just say like the nineties, right? If you tried that in the nineties, I don't see how that would be doable. Because you couldn't how would you get a tracking number? So you couldn't get a tracking number in your mailbox and be like, Oh, let me mail this tracking number to No. Couldn't do that. That's why I don't understand why people are getting dumb phones. Like you gonna get a dumb phone? Like can you? Like I don't. That's I don't think that's a good idea. Like how could you get give tracking numbers to customers? How can you even build a community of people, of new people on a dumb phone? Like a dumb phone is like a a phone that's not a smartphone. It's for you to not be distracted. And it's like if you if you're distracted by your phone. Then I guess you need a dumb phone. But if you're a smart person, you don't need a dumb phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But basically, yeah, that's ready made versus. So let me talk about like the benefits of doing a AliExpress over a ready made. Well, for one, you have certainty that you'll always have products because ready made shops are hard to find. Like you have to have some, you have to have a skill in branding and marketing to do a ready-made shop because the product might not be the product might not sell itself right so if you if you had can get a ready-made ping pong table shop that don't mean you know how to sell ping pong tables but somebody who knows how to sell and market it they're looking at it like oh yeah i i can get rid of all the, the work of shipping and setting that up and all i have to do is market to people and sell it like it's easy to them but somebody who needs a winning product. Like, you see all these people online? Oh, yeah, I got a winning product. I got a winning product. So then they're, they're trying to casino affect their way to success. Oh, I got a winning. This was a winning product. This, and it's like, I don't, I think you can generate, I think you can generate, like, um, demand. If the demand is there, you just didn't, you just generate it. That's pretty much it. You could just generate it based on keyword. I would I would target keywords, but AliExpress is a good. That's still a good model too. But I wouldn't go by how good the product looks or how good is like the metrics aspect of it. I would just go by the price, and I'd be like, okay, how could I, how could I keyword this like what would people be searching for if this was to pop up on their screen like if they was if they were let's just say like people searching for like mouse necklaces or something and you're selling a pikachu necklace you're like oh i can sell it as a mouse necklace so now it's a pikachu necklace because pikachu is a mouse so now you can now you can Bid for Pokemon necklaces, Pikachu necklaces, mouse necklaces, rat necklaces, rodent necklaces. You see what I'm saying? 